So the Aralia Hotel at Una Watuna. Yesterday we were, we were filming and uh, actually I was cooking with a chef down at the, the beach club there. But this is a gorgeous view. We're gonna be heading downstairs now for a five-star breakfast. Why don't you come and join us? Okay, so down at, uh, this is the sort of frying station, you can get eggs, uh, hoppers. Lady here actually making, making egg hoppers, making them fresh, look here. So this has a little coconut flavor and they put a, a sunny side up fried egg or you can have a broken egg into it. Uh, there's a cereal station here, so you've got your usual sort of cornflakes, oatmeals, coffee and tea. Here we've got, uh, I'm not sure what we've got. It looks like a rhubarb or fruits and uh, cold cuts, olives, roasted pumpkins. So we've got grilled tomatoes, roasted pumpkin, scrambled eggs, string hoppers. There's rice. Oh, milk rice. This is very famous here in Sri Lanka. So these are like a little, uh, like a coconut milk rice. They, they often have it with savory, but to me, it's, it's almost a sweet dish. Uh, there's a few curries here, morning curries, a fish curry, a lovely bread station. So you can get various different types of bread, toasted, and there are danishes, uh, donuts, jam, some little muffins. And towards the end here is all the fruit juice. I won't film because everybody's here. There's a lot of... Uh, slice and cut fruit as well. So Michelle and I are going to enjoy our breakfast. Michelle's got some fruit juice and a chocolate, oh got me fruit juice and a pan au chocolat. Pan au chocolat. Now I've gone for my favorite Sri Lankan snack which is actually uh, egg hopper, a little uh, coconut sambal which is actually spicy with a, some chili in it. Now normally egg hoppers, although it's a perfect breakfast uh, meal for most Westerners, we kind of like the idea of having a, a fried egg for breakfast. This is not available in most places in Sri Lanka in the morning time, so I'm kind of lucky in five star places they'll serve it. So the actual hopper itself is made with a, a batter, has coconut milk in it. Then you have a fried egg in the center and you can decide whether you want your egg uh, runny. Like this is perfect, look at that, perfect fried egg, a little bit of sambal. Sometimes you have a little curry sauce in there as well. They're kind of tricky. I think we've got a bit of light flicker here. They're kind of tricky to eat. I mean, people use an, a knife and fork. I tend to like to pick my hoppers up and use my hands to eat it, but we're in a five star. So I'm gonna go with a knife and fork. It's basically like a pancake with, a, with an egg on it. A little bit of black pepper, a little bit of salt. Mm. That'll do me, Michelle, for breakfast. Bacon and egg coming. You got bacon and egg coming? Yeah, he's bringing it to me. Oh, okay. So I got my egg hopper, a little bit of um, coconut sambal in it. I love these things. This, is, this would be my breakfast. You've seen here, right? Michelle and I, we're not big breakfast people. We, we rarely eat breakfast. Um, so to be confronted with this beautiful buffet, there's so much I'd like to eat. It's gonna be a bit disappointing for you guys because we're probably gonna have very little, just a little bit of uh, bacon and eggs maybe, um, a couple of uh, egg hoppers, and a beautiful, uh, is this a papaya juice? It's a mixed fruit juice. Mixed fruit, okay. Oh yeah, that's nice. My friend Stuti. Look at that. I've got bacon and eggs. I think it, it was it chicken bacon, Michelle? Okay. Bacon and eggs. I'm not having bread. I might have a actually I might go and get a little bit of milk rice. I just don't like bread in the morning and uh, <laughs> I'm hopeless. Absolutely hopeless as a breakfast eater. I'm being a little unorthodox. I've got um, Sri Lankan milk rice, one of the archetypical sort of breakfast rice here in Sri Lanka and I've got bacon and eggs 
So the first thing I've got to do is just try the, the milk rice. Like I say, a little, oh, like coconut rice. Absolutely delicious. Jeff, is this a good idea? Milk rice with eggs? Uh, yeah. It's okay, yeah? <laughs> Normally uh, the milk rice is with a little s sambal or, or curry or like this, yeah? Yeah, yeah this yeah. is uh, going with the, uh, we have that uh, traditional uh, pat sambal, chini sambal. Can yeah. I bring something? No, no, no. Yeah. I'm going a little bit unorthodox. <laughs> I'm, I'm mixing. Mix it, huh? Yeah, because I don't want bread this morning, so yeah, I'm, I'm having a little... But this is very healthy. Ah, it's beautiful. The rice it's... with milk, no? Yes. Yeah, very uh, healthy. There's coconut in here also? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. have coconut. Yeah, in, inside. Is, uh, it's very good. Yeah. I love milk rice. Yeah. Mm. Thank you, Suti. I've also got a little... Chef just bought me a little bit of the coconut sambal. The actual... Milk rice is almost sweet, but a little bit of sambal, a little bit of spice in there as well. And actually, I like that the sambal goes well with the uh, with the eggs. Mm. Oh, great combination. I mean, if you want a full English breakfast, there's everything there, the sausage, the, the fried eggs, just uh, grilled tomatoes, everything's there. You can have a full English breakfast. I'm just going a little bit, you know, offbeat because we're in Sri Lanka, why not? Lovely. Thank you, my friend. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, I yes. won. Thank yes. you. <laughs> oh, you even got ourselves a beautiful uh, cafe latte for the morning. Cheers. Cheers, Michelle. Good health. This is the only breakfast I normally need in the morning. Oh, that's nice. <sighs> oh, yes. A double shot cafe latte. So now just mix the, the milk rice with the egg and the sambal. Oh, I'm in heaven. That is so good. That's probably all we're going to have for breakfast. Michelle's had a, a little bit of bacon and egg as well. Let me know in the comments what would be your perfect breakfast. For me this morning, it's been bacon, sunny side up egg, milk rice, and a spicy coconut sambal. I also had one of my favorite breakfasts here. Well, it's not a breakfast. One of my favorite snacks here in Sri Lanka, the egg hopper, which normally is only available in the afternoon. And did I say I'm gonna have a, a Danish also? Because I have a sweet tooth. So that'll be the only bread-based product I'll have this morning. Now I decided to go for a little curd and kittle. Curd and kittle is a... a peculiar to Sri Lanka. It's like a yogurt, but it's not. It's usually made with buffalo. I'm told this is the best in the country. Um, Kittel is a coconut palm treacle. Commonly it has a smoky aroma, sort of smoky taste from where they're actually uh, reducing the kittle down on wood fires. Oh. oh, that is so good. Slightly sour. The kittle just lifts it with the sweetness. Michelle's also having curd and kittle. What do you reckon, Michelle? That's oh, great. Can't it's can't really good. That is. <laughs> now, the chef told me this is the best curd in the country. I can concur. It, it really is very good. Oh. I can't get enough curd and kittle. Thank you very much. Michelle and I have got uh, a little bit of socializing to do let's get some nice light here from the window a little bit of socializing to do then we've got to take the tuk-tuk these are the lovely gentlemen at the front front desk so doing much. a great job it's time for michelle and i to hit the road we're going south we're going towards the yala park michelle towards we the yala well uh aiming Mat that way <laughs> Matara, and uh we'll see what we discover <laughs> on the route so we're we're leaving as we arrived tuk-tuk team tuk-tuk Okay, there's the old tuk-tuk. Today we're driving during the curfew in Sri Lanka and the roads, there's almost nothing on the roads at all. We're down on the beach front, probably about maybe 20 kilometers from Marissa. Today, Sri Lankans are not allowed to travel. We apparently are allowed to travel because we're tourists. Now we're putting that to the test. Um, we wanted to head south. 
but it's eerily quiet, eerily quiet on the roads. And to boot, I've got to try and find fuel. Okay. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. I need to just ask them. Uh... Hi, everyone. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Is there a petrol station here? What? A gas station here? Petrol. A petrol? Petrol. Uh, yes. Uh... 15 meters. 15 meters on the left, I see there. Uh, oh, on the right, right side. Right side. Thank you, Mike. Thank, Sir, you. thank you. How are how are things today? It's okay. Yes, okay. Uh, difficult, yes? yes, with the curfew and everything. Uh, uh, here is no no problems, no no, problem. no problems. And no. towards uh, Matara, any problems at all? Uh, Matara, no problem. No, no. no. Thank thank you, my friend. Stuti. Yeah. Have a good day. I just stopped and had a a, a chat with the. Uh, the policemen and the soldiers there, very, very friendly. No? With the can, can you can. We, we have a problem here because everywhere I go, I keep getting told to move on and move on. This is the third town we've been to. I have a letter from the tourism minister saying we can get petrol. And these guys say we can't get petrol. So this is the third town every time. Go to the next town. And you say you don't have petrol, no? Now this is a problem because the police, they said, come here. We have been to three towns now. We're getting further and further. So now we're in the city of Matara. And it's, it's dead. There's, um, there's also nothing open. So I'm not sure how Michelle and I are supposed to get food today. But we've, we've uh, earmarked uh, a little hotel to stop in. Pretty much, Michelle, it's all all closed. Just breakfast today. Okay. Like breakfast tomorrow. Is like, right? Yeah, we'll be fine. Spooky, eerie. This town should normally be thumping with traffic. I mean, absolutely full of traffic. And every shop should be open. But it's a curfew. Buddha's bowl always provides. We, we've just come to this, where you look at these grounds, how gorgeous.